Hey kids and welcome back to Plantation Bay. I have some exciting uh, name suggestions uh, that I got in comments on uh, between uh, the t when I made the last video and, and when I made this one. So Chong Hoon Chang uh, 3002 uh, recommended, so I, I asked for names for these three tiles um, and he recommended that I name this one I think Cape Baja and I've, I've gone with Point Baja, I like that. Baja Point, Point Baja uh, for this tile here. Uh, Amaterasu07 uh, asked, uh, asked for Ventura Beach for this tile, tile which is great. I've got uh, big plans. I think we're going to be spending a lot of time in this tile uh, in, this, in this episode. Uh, I think it's going to be a weird combination of kind of industrial city and also kind of a resort town. So that's going to be fun. Uh, Isaiah Bryant asked for Edgewater. I think it was actually for this tile and it came, it came after the Ventura Beach uh, suggestion, so uh, I went with Edgewater for this tile. And that's, you know, just, just so you know, if you, you know, if you put a suggestion and, and it's, it is sort of first come, first serve, I guess, you know, obviously, uh, you know, it's either that or if I like one in particular, I may, I may go for that, but, uh, you know, trying to, uh, trying to include everyone's suggestions as much as possible. Um, let's see, what else? I've got a few more in Plantation Bay City itself, so I'm just going to go in there quickly. I've also done a little bit of um, transportation work off screen, um, just uh, just making some making some connections, uh, making some connections, uh, and mostly because I you know I've got this sort of highway network going, and, and I wanted to try and connect up. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, try and connect up. Uh, as many city tiles to as many other city tiles as possible. So I've done that. Um, then I'll show you in a second. And I've got a few names uh, names to point out in this city as well. Uh, Raymond K gave, uh, gave uh, a few suggestions. Very, very useful, actually, suggestions. So I've, uh, Brighton Park is the name of this park and its neighborhood as well. So this, this whole kind of area here between the old ports and the east side uh, is named Brighton Park. And he also gave two, I think, really great um, avenue or road suggestions. So I'm just trying to find the name, to be honest. I put it somewhere on the street. It's a little bit weird on these. Um... Oh, I see what's happened. Yeah, it's gotten lost in there. It, it's uh, So this is Archer Avenue, which I think is a great name. Uh, so. There you go, Raymond K. You get uh, the main north, north, south streets in um, in Plantation Bay City. Uh, Pershing Road, which I'm trying to remember where I put it. To be honest, I did uh, I did use it. I think it was here, but I'll find it. I know. I also what I've started doing is also naming. Ah, there it is. Pershing Road is this street here. I think. I'm just trying to find the actual the actual label. It's a bit tricky with the streets. I did this I did this uh, a few days ago, so so to be honest, I, I don't exactly remember, but I know I've started naming um I've started naming uh met metro stations and I'm also going to name the lines and I'm kinda going for the New York model, so every station is, is named after essentially, well most most stations anyway are named after kind of the intersection they're at or the street they're at in the case of a you know a, a, a station that only serves one kind of axis. So I don't know if I've named anything up here at Roger Avenue. Uh, this line I think I'm calling line B and this line I'm calling line A. Where is it? That's an unnamed station so you can name it. There's a plenty of unnamed stations. Um, really, I'll name them after the streets, essentially, but let me just see here. I want to get the um, buildings out of the way. There we go. Let me find a station that I've named here. Yeah, Line A. And I think this is actually going to be like... I might, I might rename the, the lines, to be honest. I think this line might be sort of an ABC line, because it has all these spurs in Inner Bay. So I might... I might sort of one of these stations would be named, uh, you know, if you look at the, the sort of New York model of naming, it would be like Line A, B, C, Brighton Park, 
and the Brighton Park is the name of the station, and and the the it tells you you know it tells you like what lines what lines are served by the station. So there's there'll be trains going to different terminuses all passing through this station. That's that's the idea because there are this 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 line does fork off, but I'll, I'll figure out. And then this one might be I might turn this one into D or something. But I'll think about that, and I might make a I might make a little metro map off. Um, off camera, you can't really. Unfortunately, you can't really make a, me a metro. You can't really annotate the map in SimCity 4 and and make uh, a metro map. But but uh, but that would be something fun. It'd be fun to do, especially as the as the region gets bigger, uh, to kind of name the lines and show you guys that. Uh, let me just see if I have anything else. Oh yes. So another area that really needed a name was I had put a little placeholder that said someone's burg and. It was actually, I think it was Chong Hung Shang who recommends Somersburg, and then Amaterasu commented and said that Samatsburg would be a hilarious name, and it be it would be cool if like, if the you know this kind of like hillbilly part of the town that was built more in the agricultural period was called Samatsburg, and then the the rich people sort of tried to name it Somersburg. So I've I've invented a a, a fictional founder of this area and call and called him Sir Walter Soames and so all of the so the airport is called Sir Walter Soames Airport uh, I don't know I think that's that's pretty hilarious um, I, I have a feeling that uh, that's that uh, Sir Walter Soames never existed and, and he's entirely a myth but yeah I've also I've, I've named a few stations here and you know just uh, just gone with uh, gone with people's suggestions uh, I have one more one more uh, naming, uh, one more name suggestion in Inner Bay. I will, which I will show you after. But I want to let's just take a look at what I've done. God, it's it's been a while since I opened this file to be honest. So I've I've got to remember what I've done. But uh, let's just take a look at what I've done in terms of transportation. But well, I want the zone map. There we go. So uh, I cleaned this up. This was a mess. Uh, I, I I essentially widened. This was a, a sort of series of streets, I think. That's still a bit of a mess, isn't it? No, it's not that bad. Yeah. That, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, I cleaned this up and turned it into an avenue. And so this this highway bridge, this highway bridge. So this is it's connected over here and it's connected there. And I cleaned up the airport connection as well. Right. Um, and then I also I also connected this was this was a bull of um, an avenue connection to the neighboring city. So I've turned that into a highway. Uh, and that's you know that's essentially just it's more or less because of the demand cap thing. And and also it's you know it's just good to have the central city served by a highway. I didn't want highways kind of crisscrossing through the central city. I, I want high, you know you can sort of get to the central city by by highway, but but you can't travel across it. Uh, and the same, the same is going on here, right? So it's just, um, you know, it, it's just to provide, provide a highway link. I guess there's no link up here. Could be interesting at some point to maybe do a little highway loop in this, in this corner here. Uh, be fairly destructive, but it wouldn't be the worst idea, to be honest. And I, it's something I'll consider in the future, um, you know. But I didn't want to have like a highway going clear across here or whatever. So yeah, it's uh, it's starting to look pretty good. Let me just look, take a look before I go over. I just want to take a look at my commercial demand and see if we can encourage any office development here. I don't think so. I think it's all been used up. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to spend much time in Plantation Base City this episode. Uh, I'm going to go back out to the regional view and go to the um, inner bay. I don't think there's any other changes I made to transportation that I haven't shown you guys already in this tile. Inner bay. Let me just take a look at the transportation map, actually. Yeah, I, I've done a big cleanup of the ports here, and I actually I actually want to build another port terminal in inner bay. I'm not sure if I'll do it this episode. I want to do it before I develop this city, because as soon as we build neighbor connections, these ports won't build up properly, essentially. Which is, it's, you know, it's just kind of the mechanics of the game. It's, it's, it's hard to simultaneously force industry to use the ports while also providing uh, commercial connections uh, using ro a road system, because often huge parts of the industrial area will use the road connections and not the ports, so that those growable ports, if you're using the 
if, if you're using the uh, the functional C ports mod, the growable ports won't won't grow because they won't hit their capacity. So that's that's what I'm trying to avoid there, and it's just it's just kind of a limitation of the mod setup I have. Um, but yeah, uh, so let's just take a look at overall though at this highway. So you can see that the the highway ring road. I'm imagining the highway ring road will will kind of loop around here in some form or another, and then continue here. And this is this is sort of a this is sort of a spur almost of the highway. That you know really the highway might kind of come over here and have another bridge and loop all the way around over here or something. And I'm not sure yet to be honest. I'm not uh, I'm not entirely sure. Um, not entirely sure how it's all going to look, and it's going to, to some degree, evolve as as we expand the city. Uh, but let's quickly go into Inner Bay. Take a look at how things are going there. Yeah, so I think I showed you last episode that this this rail connection has all been this rail connection has all been been reorganized in a way that makes a lot more sense. Um, and yeah, let's maybe you know what? Let's do that port. Oh yeah, the <laughs> I got a suggestion from uh, Gregory Vauden uh, asked to have an industrial building. Is it this one? Yeah, an industrial building named Greg's Fully Licensed Pancake Barn, which is hilarious. And so I've picked this this kind of barn looking, uh, you know, this kind of barn looking warehousey type building. And we can easily imagine that uh, you know the owner has converted this old factory into into a licensed pancake barn. So there you go. That's that. Uh, just a block away from from the L train station. Wow, that station's really... Holy cow. That station is like over capacity. Which is... It's pretty hard to get a station over capacity when, when the capacity is 50,000. Wow. Uh, kind of tempted to look at the transportation map, but th these are things uh, things you don't always notice when you're managing a big city. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, the uh, it, I I I'll I'll be curious to see how we fare on this line here. I've I know th I've known from from kind of from the start that this this line. I think this is going to be sort of an A B A B and C maybe or something. A B C line or something, and I'll rename the other B line to, to a D or something. But yeah, I, 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 you know, this line will obviously be at capacity, especially as more people start traveling to this city and and vice versa. Uh, so we may have to do something like put put like an express train on one fork of it, and by, and to do that, I I might because these stations are these stations are. Um, they have subway stations, so what I could do is put, you know, lay a subway line under it and then skip a few stations with that subway line. So it would kind of go into the station and then out on the side and along and then into the station and, and like that. And that, you know, that would that would effectively make it a, an express an express train running on the exact same line. And then there's also the possibility of of maybe putting some more rail, integrating some more rail. I know I know I want this line here. I guess this will be the A line to link up with the rail, which is where is it? Oh, here, yeah. This this rail here. Let's zoom out. Um, this rail is going to, you know, go kind of over here. I think maybe join, maybe link to up to that city tile there. And I think that 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 this uh, this line here will actually curve. God, I'm really just moving the map all over the place here. Uh, this line will actually curve and sort of join up with that at some point. So there will be a rail connection and that will provide sort of, I guess, a shortcut. But I think that's all there is to discuss in... That's all there is to discuss in uh, Inner Bay here. Uh, why don't we do that port? Why don't we take a look and I... There's a few potential locations. If I look at the be nice to try and put the port in a place where it can be if I don't know if it's gonna be a, a port with a rail connection here but it'd be nice to put it in a place where it can be fairly easily connected to the rail um, I could also could also do a little bit of terraforming here and that could be interesting uh, but it's gonna be pretty hard at this point to I don't want to have to do another one of these rail spurs to be honest so I think I think this is a good uh, a good location 
Um, it also is in the center of the map, so it's as, it's as far as possible from, from the road connections to other cities. Ooh, that's a nice factory. I'm almost reluctant to see if I can avoid destroying that, to be honest. Destroy this bus stop. I really like that, uh, that factory design. Probably got another one somewhere. Uh, let's take a look at what we have in terms of ports. Uh, we've got lots of money in this town, so no, uh, no concern about kind of spending money. There is the oil ports. Oh, that's really big. Uh, which is fine. Big is fine. Um, that one we already have, I think, the BRT seaport. The city port's a bit weird. It, uh, it, it, it's sort of meant to be built in. It, it, it puts these kind of ploppable residential looking buildings and, you know, it's cool. It's cool. It's very well designed, but it's, um, I don't think it fits in this city. Uh, let's see here. Newman, what is this? Oh, this is a canal one. Um, it'd be fun to do a canal port city. I have not spent much time with the canal mod, uh, that, that kind of comes with, I actually, I think I'm missing part of the canal mod. I think I'm missing some of those and, and it'd be fun to install that at some point. I, I haven't played around too much with the, 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 the canals and, and, and you can really make some spectacular seaports using a combination of these seawalls and canals and stuff. Uh, those, they are very cool. Alright, uh, inland coal port could be interesting too. Alright, so I think what I need to do to make this work is extend... See if I can do this without completely destroying the transportation and network ex and all that. So let's see here. Uh, where was it? I wanted the coal port. Let's do the coal port. Could be fun. Can't build on water. Okay, I just need more land. The uh, the functional seaports, uh, I'm hoping to do a tutorial on them at some point. I just have to sort of set it up in such a way. Um, but the functional seaports are interesting because the vanilla seaport asks to be like half on water and half on land. Oh, that's not the vanilla seaport. Where is it? Jeez. Uh, the vanilla seaport has to be kind of like half on water, half on land like this. And that it, it, it kind of is a little bit difficult to play, similar to those, um, to those ones. But the, the, uh, the, the functional seaport mod seaports essentially ask to be entirely on land. So, oh yeah, I see. So, so, and then they, they kind of make, they kind of look like that. And you can turn them into, if you want to have like jetties going out into the water, you can just level land going out into the water like that. Like you can orient them any way you want. But, uh, and they do a bit weird things. I do find that they do a bit weird things to, uh, oh, this is inland coal port. Yeah, that's not going to work for us, is it? No. Okay. Uh, I thought that there was another coal port. How, much, how big is the oil port? Ah, oh, the oil port's cool. I'm not sure. Let's just see how this looks. I might need to spend a bit more time on the actual land here. I'm not sure if it's even oriented correctly. Oh, yeah, no, it's backwards. Okay, that makes sense. Right. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you can see, you can tell it's backwards because the, uh... Yeah, they do a bit of a weird thing to the train. So you, that's made a that's made quite a big mess, that little experiment, unfortunately. But I can fix it. So what we need to do is kind of level the land out here, and hopefully, hopefully we will manage to build it that way. And then all this needs to be kind of fixed. Yeah, they do a very weird thing to to the terrain. I don't quite understand. They kind of put everything at sea level, but they sort of auto level the terrain to the level it needs to be. I think that building is going to get destroyed. Um, well, no, it looks like I managed to do it. Yeah, so I think that's what we need for that port, roughly, and I think I can make it work. Oh, I've gone too far. I've gone too far. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's put it here. Yes, awesome. Now, I wonder, I wonder, I don't think I already have one of those, do I? No. Yeah, I wonder if that road connection is functional. Is it? Yes, awesome. Sort of. It doesn't doesn't look super great, but it uh, but it is functional. So that's cool. Um, I guess we can. Let's uh, let's. I'm gonna hold off on turning that into an actual. Can I connect it with streets? No, it has to be a road. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna hold off on upgrading the road. I want to see how the freight network behaves. 
Well, it's getting a bit weird here. This boat seems to be kind of running ashore a bit, but that, it's it's not the end of the world. It's it's really the, the these ports end up being decorative, unfortunately. Uh, you know, unfortunately they 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 function. They do function, and they are useful. Uh, and, and in fact, these these ports, especially the ones in the middle of the tile, will will absolutely be sending freight off the map. Uh, it's actually they're pretty well placed overall. I mean, obviously, any all this industry here that's right near that road connection, they're going to use the road connection because it's closer, and that's just that's just how it is. It's it's pretty. It's it, you can do things to if you design sort of very isolated industry that 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 doesn't have good connections off the map, but it, you can you can really force them to use the seaports. But okay, so we have we have lots of office demand. I I do think that we are to some degree hitting demand caps in Plantation Bay City. Okay, I'm hoping that okay, it's going to upgrade. The connections need to be remade every time it upgrades, I think. I don't see... I'm just trying to make sure we have any... I don't have any huge warnings. Uh, we're at stage four. I don't know how many stage, stages this one has. What I want to see is whether it gets a rail connection. Some of them get rail connections, but only at the higher stage. Yeah, so we're just getting tons and tons of, uh, of these kind of oil tanker type things. We are at stage five. I think there's six for this one. Or seven. Is it? Yeah. Oh, or is it just maxed out? Oil port seven. I think that's probably the... That's... Oh, no. Oh, my God. Stage eight. Oh, man, it's getting big. <laughs> Stage eight. Let me just check again in the view here and see. I love watching those ports grow. I, I find it it's so much fun. Um, BLS oil port starts as a small port after seven upgrades. The following applies. Okay, they're very expensive. Yeah, that's okay though. We can afford it. Very very cool. That's looking great. To be honest, I think it's looking really really good. Uh, it looks like it does not have rail. Which is fine. Interesting. Um, of course, a lot of uh, a lot in the in the real world, a lot of oil travels by rail in like tanker. Let's uh, let's put a freight station by it though. I, th th again, some of this is getting a little bit decorative. Uh, it may may or may not be be used, but I I this one here. Yeah, we might as well provide a freight possible potential freight connection for for rail to flow into this port so that's good and yeah this one here has another one as well and I, I don't know whether that is that even getting used at all probably not to be honest oh a little bit a little tiny bit let's take a look at freight rail not oh uh, that's not gonna what I want to do is traffic let's get rid of that Freight train. Yeah, there's really very little freight train being used, and I'm not surprised. It's when in such a dense city where where different modes of transportation are close together, it, it's you have to really be you have to really work hard to if you want freight train to be the prim, the primary train because they'll just they'll use road if they if if it if it's faster and it, it often is faster or more direct or it, you know your train your rail doesn't tend to go everywhere. So anyway. Freight truck. Thankfully, most of the freight truck I've, I've kept off of the roads that go to <coughs> that go to neighbor connections because you know, theoretically anyway, we don't want to be using a bunch of freight rail to um, you know, in terms of the sort of using up using up road capacity uh, that we need for for other modes of transportation. But that's that port's looking pretty good, looking pretty damn good. Uh, probably uh, spruce it up at some point. Maybe, maybe I'll see if I can't figure out how to get that uh, seawall mod working, and and maybe we'll do a continuous seawall of sorts along the whole, the whole waterfront here or something. That could be very interesting. Uh, this port seems to be the most popular for the time being. But yeah, so at this point, uh, I'm I don't think we're going to do any more. We've got four terminals for the port in this city, which I think is pretty good. Uh, we've got a con uh, container terminal, this is kind of a standard industrial one, and then we've got the oil terminal, and this is, this is, what is this, it's a warehouse port. So yeah, we've got different types of terminals, and I think that's cool. I want to head over to, uh, to Ventura Beach now. 
and just kind of uh, build the uh, the you know the sort of bare bones beginnings of a brand new city tile. Um, so. One thing I'll point out is that I am playing these new tiles on hard mode, so we are not going to instantly drag, you know, a huge highway across this tile. We we are going to use the rail connection. Um, my goal is for this to be a mix of... It's going to be kind of a tourist beach city, but that pays for its... You know, that sort of pays for itself through through kind of grungy industry, and that tries to hide the grungy industry behind a, a thin veneer of, of, you know, flashy beach... Stuff. Uh, I gotta think. I gotta think a bit about how this rail is gonna be going to go. To be honest, uh, I I think it's. I think I'm going to build a, a port down here. Yet another port. I won't build it quite yet. I don't think. But I think I'm gonna build a port down here and connect up some industry to that. And I gotta think about where I want this rail to go. Hmm. Let's uh, let's start by placing a few landmarks, though. Let's. I think the beach tourism part is going to be over here because we've got this nice flat area, and I think the industry is going to be near this rail here. And yeah, I, that's they're pretty far apart, but we can at least start by laying out the beach. Okay, yeah, that's how we need it, like this. I'd like to make it nice and straight. Uh, okay, let's see if we can fix. I gotta be a little bit careful about spending because we have a hundred thousand, and that's that. Uh, I'd like to make a nice long beach, though. Long and straight beach. Oh God, I picked the wrong one. That's what I want. All right. There we are. Uh, just keeping an eye on cash here, but I think we've got enough to do a really substantial. I don't know what the upkeep on these is, but I will have to. I will have to pay attention. I'm hoping. I'm hoping to get a casino in this town. That's, that's, that's the kind of town I'm going for. This kind of tacky casino resort, beach resort town. Um, uh, you know, kind of like, uh, kind of like Atlantic City. Uh, I think. Let's stop there for now because I will use up way too much of our budget if I'm not careful. But yeah, that's that's pretty pretty impressive. Let's, uh, let's kind of design, let's kind of design a sort of, I wish there was a, oh, there is a boardwalk, isn't there? There is some kind of, there is, there are ped malls that are boardwalks, and there are also, it'd be nice to get maybe a, maybe a custom street texture, streets, can I, no, I don't think that's how we do it, it's in here, somewhere there are alternate street textures, I think. Rural road. That's not what we want. Uh, anyway, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna search extensively for it. Uh, I am kind of. I would like to do a boardwalk at some point, though. And maybe we can take a look at like a ped mall the whole length of this. Uh, I'm always a little bit sketched by ped malls. Open paved. Is that good? Is that is that something we want? Open paved. Cobblestone. No, that's silly. Pavement. Sandstone, grass. These are the footbridges. Mountain trail, that's a bit silly. Uh, yeah, I think we're back to the beginning. I think I like the open paved look, to be honest. I think we'll just do that. We'll just do a ped mall the whole length of the beach. And then we will do a an avenue maybe? I don't know. 
be interesting to have an avenue for sure. Could be interesting. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, we'll have this big wide avenue here. I think that's good. And then, yeah, let's uh, let's start uh, doing a little bit of uh, street design here. It's gonna it's, it's spending a lot of money, but uh, but that's okay. Kind of what's going on here? Why can't I? Oh, is a grade problem? That seems wrong. Huh. Okay. Well. Interesting. What the fuck have I done here? Is it the ped mall that's getting in the way? I think the pedestrian mall might be kind of screwing things up here, guys. Maybe I'll line up the streets with these little parking entrances. That could be neat. Whole street grid designed after. What is going on here? Is this avenue just not. Man. Something weird is going on here for sure. Yep, it's the ped mall. Okay, the ped mall has to go and we'll build it again after. That's, uh, that's frustrating. That's uh, that that's not very usable. I I, I, I must say I am not uh, not a huge fan of things that cause that kind of problem. I know I know the thing is about the Nam though is that it's it's very um, it's very like the game engine does have certain limitations in terms of what it allows you to do. So I I understand that that it's not that you know a lot of the things that they're putting in are kind of work creative workarounds and and they are. You know, they, they are, they're very impressive, and I, I, I wouldn't want anyone who, who's sort of involved in the project to feel like I think it's sort of badly designed. I, I, I don't, I think it's, I think all, all in all, it's, it's very impressive what they've managed to do, uh, considering what they've had to work around. So, so yeah, that's uh, just to clear, just to be perfectly clear. Uh, I just, I know that, I do find that, that at the end of the day, you know, and it's, when it's not easy to drag something, when it's not easy to to, uh, you know, kind of manipulate the pieces, it, it does make them hard to use, and it makes me somewhat reluctant to use them, but you have to, you end up having to sort of design your city tile by tile, right? So this very, very tight grid down here, and then we'll change the grid afterwards. Kind of an interesting design. Uh, some, some, one of these roads will have to be upgraded as well, of course. Uh, for the time being, we'll put, I think we'll put a little bit of light commercial along the boulevard, like so, or the avenue, or whatever. Obviously that avenue is going to need a name. Uh, no. If we want to, well, I'll do that for now. got to think about how I'm going to connect this all up to... I may have to go uh, out into the other view at some point and, and do some connections to the neighboring city, but uh, I can do this faster, actually, like this. There we go. That should be interesting. Yes. Okay, we've got the highway connection there. Worst case, we can bring that highway down and, and connect it down here. I, I've got to take a look at the regional map before I start dragging around the, the larger... Uh, the larger tiles, though. Uh, let's take... Something in the middle is going to be a road, for sure. So let's just take this one here. Okay. I think the... I, I've been, I haven't paid too much attention to how I've made the grid in the other cities, but generally speaking, you want to make long blocks in the direction that sims are likely to travel. It's tricky, though, because often they're going to end up traveling in two directions, and, and in this one, I'll, I'll orient them towards the central city, but it's more of a design choice than a functional choice. In the sense that if, I, if, if, you make, if you're going to make rectangular blocks, they should usually be oriented 
the rectangle should be the long side of the rectangle should be pointing towards the, uh, the act the main axis of travel this should be parallel to the main axis of travel essentially that's that's the that's the theory because then they pass fewer intersections but you know uh, let's just do one cross street here and one up here that's fine So the whole this whole town right now is sort of oriented towards the beach. Uh, I gotta put bus stops in. I'm gonna do that right away before I forget. For the time being, there's not going to be any any subway or yeah, any um, elevated train in this in this tile. But uh, we will connect it to rail soon. Uh. That should be fine. Do things like that. Maybe, yeah, no, that's fine. We don't need them every single block there. Uh, let's do a similar thing here with a little bit of commercial. Things may need to be reorganized at some point. Uh, well, no, see, that's not, that screwed things up. You know what? Okay, scrap that. Scrap that. Uh, scratch that, and I will just use it residential for the time being, because I want to actually fill up this space. Yeah. And we just got to put the industrial area in after this. Legalized gambling, because be actually nice if I could get it to run a slight deficit, uh, because that will encourage the casino reward to appear. I'm hoping to not have to kind of cheese my way into getting it. Um, but you know, I do want the casino in this tile. I'll look up. Uh, I may look up the requirements if it if it if it doesn't appear naturally on its own. It's a bit hard to kind of encourage things to appear. Um, I don't think I I didn't put one in Plantation Base City. So yeah, we can we can kind of make this the. Make this. I think gambling is legal in Plantation Bay City, if I remember correctly. But uh, but we can we can make this the kind of casino town. I think it's cool. Uh, we're gonna need water. Let's put uh, let's put a water thing here, so that it's gonna be away from any industry that we build. I wonder what the demand is gonna be like. We also need power, of course. Um, put it over here. And let's think here. <laughs> Just taking a look at... Hmm... This is very expensive. I need to be a little bit careful about building all this avenue. But this town, I guess, is going to be kind of linear, linear, built across this avenue in a linear, in a linear way. Yeah, that makes sense. We'll have this this avenue that kind of goes the whole length of the coastline, and let's put some industry. Uh, we can put a port here for sure. Do I want to build the port right away? Two ports in one episode. What can I say, guys? Uh, I think I'll just go with the BRT one. Uh, I think it will fit actually quite nicely right there. That one has a rail connection. I may need to reorganize that rail line a bit, but that's that's fine. I'll do that once it actually builds up. Let's, for the time being, just put a... Wait, 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 wait. Try and do this nicely, hmm? Uh, let's see here. I'm just using the uh, streets to level the terrain around the around the edge of the port so that we don't have those weird... the, the, the sort of road that... Oh, I can, uh, I can just link this all up now. 
that's going to cost us a lot of money and probably put us into a deficit. So I hope I don't, I don't hope I don't end up having to delete that port just to make the city function. But let's just uh, put a couple of road connections there for now. And maybe we'll extend the industry along the rail here. Like that. Short block there. That's fine for now. There we are. Uh, I'm going to go with medium and in, medium in industry for now, and I'm not going to build a huge port city like I did. This may be all of the industry that we build. I, I, I may densify some of it. I need to be very careful about money at this point. I'm really pushing the uh, pushing the envelope. Right, that's fine. Oh yeah, I'm. I'm uh, oof. Oof. I hope I don't have to end up having to take a loan. Let's just do this for now. And we're gonna need water, but I'm only gonna give water to the uh, residential area for the time being. Now, uh, can I legalize gambling, or do you need to like wait a few? Oh, let's just do the. Uh, I'm gonna put this in the Chicago style for a bit, uh, kind of as though the town has a bit of a history from the early, and then I'll, I'll switch to the New York one afterwards. Uh, I wonder what our demand is like. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, we're definitely hitting a demand cap in plantation-based city because uh, because you're, we're getting the office demand in in these cities, but not in Plantation Bay, so that makes that's pretty clear at this point. Some kind of demand cap is going on. Uh, we need to legalize gambling. Which is in ordinances, which is there. Okay, legalize gambling. Give me, give me a casino. Uh, it's going to be a bit tricky here to... We don't have any industrial demand except for high-tech. I don't much care if high-tech builds here. Of course, we're going to get some poor uh, some poor residential building up. Oof. Interesting. Very curious as to why... We should be getting. Oh, I see. What's happened is we've. We, is, is this is built up as uh, some of this is richer residential because of the parks, and there's no there's no jobs for them. It's okay. This is this is sort of the weirdness of the um, the weirdness of the. Oof, we got to be careful. Oh, we're making money. Oh, I need a I need garbage disposal. Um, yeah, this is sort of the weirdness of, of when when your cities get big on a sort of regional scale. Is you know we've got a lot of. We've got a lot of demand from from uh, neighboring cities, uh, do, 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 and it makes it makes stuff build up that it's not like starting a fresh tile, basically, is what I'm saying. That's fine. I should probably build a fire station. I want that casino. Oops. Come on now. It's going to be very hard to get any, any dense industry at all to build up here, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. What can I do? What can I do? Oh, it needs a road connection, that's for sure. Let's just start by connecting this. And then we do need to think about how rail is going to fit into the equation here. Probably, probably run a rail station like there or something.
Okay, so they're traveling. They're all traveling to the next city, basically. That's fine. I can just leave this, and it will develop at some point. It will, it will develop at some point or another, for sure. Um... Yeah. Let's put a church. And let's put City Hall right on the boardwalk. For sure. Ah, oh, we're getting those, uh, we're getting some deals. Oh, uh, I want the casino. Give me my casino. I might, uh, I might, uh, go on, like, a wiki and look up what, like, there are certain conditions that make them appear as a, as an offer. We're already up to 20,000 inhabitants, so that's pretty good. We are making money, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, we do have trash. Oh, no we don't, because that's not connected at all with the road network. Hilarious. There we are. Still not? Oh no, it's good, okay. We do have an awful lot of industry in the in the next tile, so it will be it will be a little bit difficult. What we'll probably do is develop uh, develop more residential next door. Let's uh, let's get some schooling going in this tile, and then I'm I'm going to leave it for now. Obviously, uh, it's a little bit disappointing to not get that casino going right away, but but we will we will. Oh, small police station. Yeah. Fire station, I'm just going to put over by the industry here, where the industry will hopefully eventually be. Oh, I also need uh, bus stations here. Along the avenue. What I want to do is, uh, um, very shortly here, is go, go out to the... Um, go out to the city the regional view and take a look at uh, take a look at some of these connections and figure out where I want the rail to go and stuff ah yes awesome we got the casino wicked yes well that's happening for sure and I think the casino I think the casino is going right by the uh, city hall. To be honest, I think that's the kind of town this is. I think the uh, what's going on here? What? Uh, oh, it's a police station. <laughs> Delete the police station. Place the casino. Awesome. Yeah. Let's put the police station back. Um, so that's kind of mission accomplished for now for this town. I I, di I, I didn't get the industry to grow, but I, I need to work on that. No big deal though. It will it will grow. It will probably grow by by putting development in uh, in other in the adjacent tiles, but yeah, there we go. That's Ventura Beach. Uh, let's. Uh, what's my budget looking like? Oh, budget's very healthy. Okay. Uh, let's put uh, medical center there. And yeah, let's go take a look at the region. And sort of think about how. Think about how this is going to all develop. So, the rail definitely needs to. I need to do a connection here. And I think the rail is going to run like that. And the highway is going to run along a similar, similar line. I think the highway is going to run actually down here. And sort of like that, and then connect up here. 
Um, I won't connect highway to this tile here. Uh, I think the best way for me to get this industry to develop is, is to actually go back. Next episode, we'll do this. We'll go back to Plantation Bay, and we're going to fill in all this, this sort of Summatsburg area. And that is going to feed into this this Ventura Beach industry. And the rail line going straight down there is, is going to serve that purpose as well. So that's awesome. I may also prepare at least the rail connection for Edgewater here so that we can kind of line all that up and you know start to think about how everything's going to connect up but yeah the, the key i think is to ha is to develop residential areas here that will feed into industry here and yeah and then also you know eventually connect this up to the pr probably we can connect this to the highway very soon i don't want to build the highway across the entire tile but but because it's very expensive but but yeah we can probably connect up the highway network there get get more people moving into plantation bay city but yeah, so uh, that's uh, that's Ventura Beach. Let's look at the uh, satellite view. That's Ventura. That's the the beginnings of Ventura Beach, anyway, with its casino and and long boardwalk beach type thing. I think it will kind of extend as well along. Uh, I think it will sort of extend ex extend along that uh, that area a bit more as well. And we will we will get that industry to grow um, for sure. Regional population 534. So yeah, next episode we'll we'll uh, we'll really focus on this. So anyway, if you uh, if you have uh, naming suggestions, please submit them in the comments. And if you enjoy the video, press the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, see you next time. Ciao.